Our viewers wanted me to ask you what is good and what is bad, because many people are confused. For example, things used to be good for many people. It was good to be able to make plans, and then the virus came and things got bad. But you say this is good. America, for example, was America, and the European Union was a united Europe. It was good. People wanted to live there. Now America is divided into factions, and there is fierce hatred. Nobody knows what will happen to Europe. It seems that there will be no single union. Things became bad. But you're saying it's good. Anti-Semitism is growing in the world. This is bad. I'm even afraid to say that you say this is good. Furthermore, the world has nearly lost all purpose. It has no goal. It's hit a dead end. Many people are feeling this way. And that's the best thing. You're saying that it's good. Yes. It reminds me of a poem. Little boy came to his dad, what is good and what is bad? True. Well, if possible, can you tell us step by step what is good and what is bad? Good is when we move forward in the right direction, which is inherent in nature, rather than what people make up. All it was made up by some great... Minds, right? Minds, sure. All sorts of academics. Marxists and Leninists or capitalists, socialists and other ists. But now, we have none of that. Nature is giving us a good push, and we are moving forward. That's why it's good. So everything that has been created by the human mind is by and large... Bad. Bad. Yes. If we move or try to move, at least approximately, in accordance with nature, this is already good, right? If we move involuntarily to where it pushes us, then it is good. But if we move involuntarily, we feel bad. Well, yes, but this is good. Here's the stumbling block. The point is not to feel good while moving towards the bad. The point is to advance towards the good. And toward the good is where nature is pushing us. So we can only move towards the good if egoistically we're feeling bad, right? Right. So that's how it is. Is this the formula? Yes. So if we feel bad, like we are at a dead end and have lost our bearings. Then that was very good. This is good. Yes, from there, we'll find a good solution. And how do we hear nature? Isn't it impossible for an egoistic person to hear it, to move along with it in any way? We just have to think about where we are living and what kind of nature this is. Nature is integral, global. In it, everything exists in harmony. So let's do the same thing between each other. Let's take a closer look at this. What do you mean by the word nature? There are so many questions about this. What is it? Nature is the inanimate, vegetative, animate degrees, and most importantly, the human, people who have to achieve a good mutual connection between them. Then everything will be good. Everything will be wonderful. This is not a children's fairy tale. It's simply a law of nature that everything has to be interconnected. But nature is what envelops us, right? We are inside something. This is nature, right? When we begin to connect with each other into one global whole, into a mutual good dependency, mutual help, with all the understanding that this is exactly how we should live, in spite of our small petty egoism, then we will begin to feel that all of nature is this way. It is closed and altruistic. And within this state, this close-knit, warm, good connection, we will begin to feel that we exist in a completely different world, in a different environment. So I only need to make these good, kind efforts towards the other, and I will gradually begin to feel this law of nature, right? Yes. Moreover, this is all described in the Bible, everywhere really. No one can argue against it. We just need to implement it. Ideologically, everyone agrees with this. No one will argue against it. Even the worst criminals say that they stand for truth, justice, and so on. Indeed. So there is no problem with that. The problem is how to implement it. We are unable to implement this. There have already been attempts by socialist communists, Trotskyists, and many others. We cannot implement it. And now nature is helping us. It's doing it for us. So we weren't able to implement this connection, right? Right. Good connection between us. We weren't able to? No. But we always tried, it seems, right? Well, yes. There will be all sorts of trends, of course. Take, for instance... Utopians. All kinds. Well, the utopians were something. Just to think of creating cities where there will be warm, good relationships like this. Right. And they couldn't. Why? The effort was there. There was no methodology. No plan. No program. 
And now all this is already nearing implementation. Do you remember how the poem ends? The boy joyfully went and said, I will do what's good and not what's bad. Well, that is how it'll be with the boy. Really? Yes, it will be. He will do what's good, meaning we will transition to this state. And another very important question, retirees who live only off their pension, those who have barely enough to live on, will it still be there for them? Will they not have it taken away? I'm asking out of hope. They will lose nothing. Oh, really? They're just... Nature will make sure that everyone will have everything they need in sufficient quantity, no more and no less. And in this way, it will attune a person to the right attitude toward everything. So your message now is to hear nature, to trust it, and go with its flow. Yes, yes, yes. It will all come around and everything will be fine. The most important thing is to discover a new world in the right connection between us. It contains everything.